It Chapter 2 is out in theaters right now, and that got me thinking, what other Stephen King books talk about the town of Derry? So I'm gonna run down a list here and let you know which other novels by Stephen King explore on different avenues the mysterious and interesting town of Derry, Maine. going to talk about this book briefly for a moment. This is It, and this was published in 1986. And this is where we're first introduced to the town of Derry, Maine. Within this story, the group lovingly known as the Losers Club by us, um, this is where they begin their battle against It, also known as Pennywise, when they're children, and then have to conclude that battle 27 years later and finish him off when they're adults. Next book would be Insomnia. Now this was published in 1996, and again, this takes place in Derry, Maine. In Insomnia, we're introduced to Ralph Roberts, and Ralph Roberts is a widower, and he is waking up earlier and earlier each night, every night. Uh, one night he wakes up at 3.15 a.m., the next night it is 3 o'clock a.m., the next night it's 2.45 a.m., and so on and so on. And Ralph Roberts lives within the town of Derry, Maine. Now, with each passing night that he gets less and less sleep, Ralph begins to notice strange occurrences happening within the town of Derry, Maine. Now, Ralph is not naive. He knows that Derry has a history and that Derry's not perfect and that there's always been an underlining strangeness to Derry. But things are even more strange than usual, and he's picking out and picking up on things um, that used to seem familiar and normal to him, kind of seeing things in a different light. And there's, uh, he's having these visions and things are just getting more and more interesting. Next up, we have Bag of Bones, which was published in 1998. In Bag of Bones, the whole story doesn't take place within Derry, Maine, but it does take part partially uh, within Derry. So it's kind of split up within two different locations. Deals with the character Mike Newland. And Mike Newland is a best selling writer, best selling author. And he is also a widower. And it's four years later and he's still grieving over the sudden loss of his wife. Mike has developed writer's block. He has not been able to write anything of, of substance uh, since the passing of his wife. And basically, every day just stares at the blank screen on the computer, unable to process and think about what he wants to write. He's having a very difficult time moving on with his life. He's been having nightmares. And within these nightmares, he's been uh, dreaming of a lakeside town and a, and a lake house within these very, very vivid nightmares. So because of the onset and the reoccurrence of these nightmares, this, this prompts Mike Noonan to go to the lake house that him and his wife owned together for the first time in many, many, many years. And that is where the true story, the true adventure begins within Bagabo. Dreamcatcher was published in 2001, and this also takes place in the town of Derry. I gotta be honest about this, straight up honest about this. The film adaptation of Dreamcatcher is horrible. It's really, really bad. It sucks. They strayed so far away from the source material that it's almost unrecognizable. You wouldn't necessarily know it as the same uh, book or novel than what you see in the film. Now that's normal, that happens a lot of times, you know. Uh, sometimes you take liberty with the source material, the original material. But this book is a good book. It's a good book, it's a good read. The movie is not. The movie, it's quite shitty, which is interesting because within this book and within the movie, there are these extraterrestrial parasites that enter a human's body, sometimes through their ass, and sometimes they're pooped out as these shit parasites. I'm not making that up. That's, read the book, see the movie, um, you'll see what I'm talking about if you do either. Sounds a little weird, but we also gotta um, make mention that Stephen King was in a lot of pain when he wrote this novel. This was basically his first attempt at writing after his near-fatal hit-and-run accident. 
and he wrote the book in cursive. Um, originally why he was on a lot of pain um, medication. So Stephen King is on record saying that this story is not very good, that he does not like it, but I don't think it's bad. It's actually a good read, but I'm not joking about the, the shit parasites. So mm -hmm. the film shitty. This is the story of four lifelong friends that every year uh, within Derry, they make an annual hunting trip. And on this specific year where they meet up, strange things start to occur with the extraterrestrial parasites that I was talking about. And you kind of have a story of like invasion of the body snatchers here with some other supernatural elements. But it's definitely worth checking out and definitely um, worth the read. Last novel that I have here is 112263. 112263 was published in 2011. This book is amazing. This is definitely one of my favorite Stephen King books. Uh, can't say enough great things about this story. 112263 is a time travel story and we meet Jack Ebbing. Jack Ebbing is given the ability to go back in time and alter the events that are going to lead to the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. In his time traveling adventures, Jack decides to stop off in the past in Derry, Maine to change the life of an acquaintance of his for the better. And within his visit to Derry, Maine, we run into some characters um, that we haven't seen for a while that are familiar to us. And it's a very nice uh, re reunion with these characters and a little tip of the hat uh, to the readers who knows what these characters have gone through beforehand. These characters having a story of their own, and I don't wanna spoil it for you because it's it's definitely something cool to discover within this book and pick up on your own uh, but it was a very cool cameo yes. this deals with the assassination of john f kennedy um, the whole story can't take place in Derry, maine it's only partially within Derry. there's a good meaty part of this story that takes place within Derry, um a, a necessary part and an important part of this story. if you have not read this book if you haven't gotten a chance to read this yet definitely recommend that this book is amazing. If you had a chance to read these books by Stephen King or if you haven't had a chance, uh, please let me know in the comments. If you're interested in reading them, if you check them out, let me know what other Stephen King books that you're into or what other Stephen King books you're looking forward to reading. Right now is a great time to be a Stephen King fan. Stephen King is on a resurgence, a renaissance. A lot of newer fans are being introduced to the works of Stephen King, either through publication or movies or television shows. There's a lot going on. So it's a great time to be a Stephen King fan. Anyone else out there who is a Stephen King fan, I would love to hear from you. Let me know, again, what you love about Stephen King, your favorite stories by Stephen King. Thank you so much for watching this video, for lending me your ears, for letting me talk to you about these things that I'm passionate about, that I have a love for. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your time. I greatly appreciate it. As always, be safe, be careful, and I'll talk to you soon.